So today we're going to be doing a total setup um, as far as base and rover so that I uh, know how to do it. So to start with, we're going to add, and we want this up here to be set on ICG or Icon GPS 60. Right here, we're going to go ahead and put in our name, which this one's going to be our base here. And once we type that in, we're going to go here. Now we're going to go here, communications, which is right here. And now it's going to start searching for the communication. Start search. This is the serial number that we're looking for. Um, right now we have our rover turned off. I like to just turn on the base, set the base up, and then turn the rover on. Uh, because all that really matters is that the channels are the same and we always keep ours like that. So now it's picked this one up. I know that that's our serial number. So now I'm going to connect it. Green check. Now we're going to go to Start Profile Wizard. We're going to go to, so the sensor right now is set in local rover. We're going to set it to base. Yes. Using the internal radio. Blue dot. So our model, our channel, we're going to set on channel 2. Our connection format is going to be Leica. Up here, blue dot. Our antenna height is zero. The antenna we're using is ICG60. Green check. Now the profile has been set up. Do you want to set the position? Yes. We're not going to choose from a map. We're just going to measure anywhere. That's where my base is. Uh, it shows it relatively close to where I am. Um, so we're gonna hit measure. So now the base knows where it's at. Uh, we know it's on channel two. So hit yes. Now we're gonna name that point. We're gonna name that point. base one base station setup was successful so okay now we're going to back out of base setup. Now we're going to go ahead and get our rover started up. So now that our rover started up, that's what you should be seeing on your rover. Now we're going to add a device. This rover is not in the system, so we're going to add. We're going to go over here. We're going to change our name to Rover. Check. So now we're going to go to communication. Start search. So if you notice, now it's popped up too. We know we've already added the 1280 in as our base. 
so now we want to add the one two three four we want to add that one in we want to communicate with that one now as our rover now we're communicating now we're going to hit our startup wizard the sensor mode is in local rover we're using an internal radio so we're going to do our blue check we're running channel 2 we're running correction format as Leica blue, blue dot we know that our antenna height is 6.56 the antenna is ICG 60, so green check. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to create a coordinate system for it to work off of. So we're going to go to coordinate system. We're going to do a small area. Uh, most of our jobs are small areas, so um, it has to be pretty big for a big area. Um, we're going to go here. We have already established our control points. So the next place that we're going to go, because it's telling us here, select and measure first point. So the first point that we're going to select is going to be this Traverse 6000. We know exactly where it is. So we're gonna select it, and we're gonna go over to that point and set up and take that shot. So now we're over our first point. If you notice, we've bubbled up uh, level. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this point. Average. So now if you notice, it's showing us now where we are so we know relatively where the next control point is which is going to which should be this one right out in here uh so we're gonna attempt to go to that one and make sure that that's the right one we're pretty close and we'll set down on it so now we're on point number two uh set up plumbed up now we're gonna average here So we're in um, kind of a little bit of a hurry to get set up. So what we're going to do now is right here, select to measure next point or press accept. We can go ahead and go right here. And um, if you notice, we're within 300 on height, uh, negative and positive. So it's pretty well bright. And on the plane res plan resi residue, we're uh, zero. So it's close enough for us and what we're doing. So we're going to... Uh, Go ahead, we're gonna accept that. Finish localization, okay. Uh, you have only two points. Uh, usually you like to do more than that. So this is gonna be our localization. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change that localization there to, uh, and just say final, because I don't plan on doing any more localizations on this project. Um, active coordinate system will be changed and recalculated so we hit it we have changed it so now when we go to stake out or cut fill or anything everything's there in the way we want it uh, thanks for watching this video if uh, it was helpful like it and um, follow thank you